हेलो एवरीवन आई एम डॉक्टर मनीष सिंगल मेडिकल ऑनकोलॉजिस्ट अपोलो हॉस्पिटल्स न्यू दिल्ली एंड नोएडा से एंड वी वुड बी डिस्कसिंग व्हाट इज द फ्यूचर ऑफ कैंसर व्हाट आर द टॉप फाइव थिंग्स दैट वी थिंक कैन चेंज द फ्यूचर ऑफ कैंसर दैट इज वी विल बी एबल टू विन ओवर दिस डेडली डिजीज एंड हैव द बेस्ट पॉसिबल आउटकम फॉर ऑल आवर पेशेंट्स सो द फर्स्ट एंड द फॉरमोस्ट इज प्रिसीजन मेडिसिन what do we understand by precision medicine precision medicine is trying to identify that very abnormality in the cancer cells which makes it so very different from a normal cell and therefore this particular aberration which is important for the cancer cell survival that dna aberration that dna abnormality which is so very important for the survival of the cancer cells can be targeted by using a targeted therapy it is not very difficult to understand that if you use a targeted therapy it is going to have maximal effect on the cancer cell and minimal effect on the normal cell that means your collateral damage is least and you are getting almost 100% cell kill by using precision medicine this requires a lot of complex molecular genetics and molecular aberrations and molecular studies which we call this next generation sequencing and this is able to help us treat the cancers better second second is immunotherapy i am sure you would have heard of immunotherapy which made big news when 14 of 14 patients achieved 100% cell control or cancer control in the very recent study called as dostarly map which was published in asco 2022 which is a product of msk cc that is memorial sloan catering hospital and that very drug produced almost 100% result it is only effective in patients who have rectal cancer and have deficiency in their mmr protein yet immunotherapy basically triggers your own immune system to fight against the cancer we all understand that immune system do recognize the cancer cells as something foreign as a bacteria or virus coming from outside if we can win over bacteria and viruses why can't we win over these abnormal cells but there is something which stops the immune system immunotherapy retriggers this immune system against cancer and can bring in super results at least in some patients third is CAR T cell therapy. CAR T cell means chimeric antigen receptor T cell therapy. Simply put, it basically means that you extract the immune cells of the cancer patient, you redesign them, you re-engineer or biochemically or bio biomedically engineer them, put some co-stimulants and stimulants so that when these cancers, these T cells or your immune cells are put back into your system, they can start learning how to fight the cancer cells. this is called as chimeric antigen receptor t cell therapy this is mostly have been found to be quite successful in liquid malignancies that is hematological malignancies such as leukemias and lymphomas there's a lot of research going on in solid organ malignancies such as breast prostate lung sarcomas etc we have not found lot of success in solid organ malignancies but people are learning more and more fourth is epigenetic therapies It basically means that you reverse the genetic disorder which resulted into the cancer thereby you don't kill the cancer but you reverse the cancer cell to become a normal cell of course this is another was genetic therapies lot of research going on in this direction not ready for prime time not available but lot of research and lot of hope and last not the least is lots and lots of future research we need to have trust on research because cancer research will show us the path for the future there may be more and more processes that we don't really understand as of now and our understanding and knowledge of cancer is ever increasing and only this knowledge will help us know what more can be done to treat this deadly disease thank you